while some view World War II weekend as the time to pretend you may have lived during the time of World War II. Left. Left. Many say in reality, this man all but ended that war. General Paul Tibbetts and his crew flew the Enola Gay over Hiroshima and dropped the first atomic bomb ever used in combat. The 10 kiloton atomic blast killed more than 100,000 Japanese and affected hundreds of thousands more. But many war buffs visiting him say they might not be here if he didn't do it. They always give me credit for doing it. And I said, you know, I appreciate your thoughts. But on the other hand, there was an awful lot of people involved in getting that airplane over the target and dropping the bomb. To this day, Tibbet says he would do it again if the situation was the same as in 1945. But sometimes detractors still question his conscience. Most of the people remember, let me word it that way, but there are elements within this country that are, I call, a little bit offshore, and uh, I don't care what they think. Tibbetts is now 91 years old. And because of health troubles in recent years, his friends say each event like this is potentially the last time the public will see him. If so, what does he want America to remember? The biggest point is that people remember what happened in those days and thank God for what they are doing today. In other words, it's as clear as black and white. Without the atomic bomb, he believes our country would have been stuck in World War II longer. So by taking lives, he thinks American lives were saved. In Burton Township, Joel D. Smith, 69 News, Burks Edition.